All right. Hello, YouTube. Um, Bearded Ryan here. I've got a refurb for you today. We, of course, got an Xbox 360 controller, uh, the S-Type. You know, it's uh, seen some wear. Got a few things not working good or just so well on it. As you can see, the thumbsticks are worn to the nubs. I have some replacement thumbsticks that we're going to pop on today. And we're also going to replace the battery pack. In addition to that, I have a few cosmetic upgrades that I intend on improving. And we're just going to go through this step by step. So I've seen some videos that some people um, are removing the parts of the controller just to show you how to do it. We will uh, be doing a, a partial how-to. I'll give you a quick rundown of everything. Try not to make the video too long. I want it to be uh, relatively uh, watchable. But uh, in this first segment, I'm just going to do a rundown of the screws. We're going to pop off the battery pack. This doesn't work. Uh, be careful. Your batteries can corrode if you're using the AA. You might want to use rechargeable double A's uh, for the S controllers or maybe buy a plug and play kit for here, your adapter here. And uh, so we're setting the battery pack aside. And what we have here on the S controller, there are two screws up top where my thumbs are, two screws in the middle, two screws at the very bottom, and then one screw behind your serial number, right in the middle there. And what you're gonna need to get this done is a T8 Torx screwdriver, and it will do the job for this type of controller. Um, you can find these in several colors, sizes, but uh, this, for instance, I got in a pack, you got a T8 and a T10, to the best of my knowledge, there are four varieties of screwdrivers for these Xbox controllers. There's a T6, a T8, a T9, and a T10. Um, for this purpose, you need a T8. Now, I also have a chat pad, which I need to refurb. It's not working right now. My guess is some corrosion right here. It was very dirty. I cleaned it up. It doesn't look like it's got corrosion on the inside, but it just won't work. Now this right here, as you can see, hold on, I will show you. The two first markings on this bottom of the controller, it says T6. There's a symbol and then it says T6 X40. This is the torque style and uh, it's got a nice rubber grip to it and the bottom handle rotates to facilitate easier screw removal. Now, with the chat pad, if you are trying to refurb one of these or just you have one, you need to take it apart, uh, you need to do some cleaning, just any reason you need to do this, disassemble one, you need the T6, only the T6, not the T8, not any of the other numbers, you need a T6. There are two screws at the bottom, one here, one there, and then two screws right on the inside lip, right behind the, the keypad. And they're all T6, so you get the top two and the bottom two, and that's all you need to know. But I'm going to flash forward to removing these screws. Of course, you don't need to see me do that. It would be kind of tedious, but I am going to cut the video for a second. You need your T8 and just go on removing them screws. Don't be afraid to poke right through the serial number. The screw will come through. All right, be right back. All right, welcome back YouTube. And we have the screws removed on the controller. As you can see, that center screw right behind the serial number. So, this should be pretty loose at this point and what you're going to want to do is kind of get the top lip right in here and get that going on 
and you're going to peel, peel back, if it'll go. Okay, I got it from the side. So you, you're just going to want to kind of get an even removal. You might want to do both, both sides evenly. Each controller is kind of finicky on its own. Okay, so as you can see in here, there have been two pops, which were both sides of the controller. And, and there we go. And parts will fly everywhere sometimes, but that's okay. I know how to reassemble this we're all right so you want to get gonna want to do get all your parts where you can find them okay so take this off so it's easier all right so you got your uh, circuit board there the two problem thumbsticks that we're looking to review and remove and you, they just kind of pop off There's one, okay, one's gone, and two. That one is a little bit easier. So we set both those down. And the way these are shaped, if you can see, there is kind of a flat side to them and a curved side. So you're gonna, those go uh, uh, vertically. The flat side will go vertically and it will fit around the thumb stick, actual physical. see how I got this okay it's popping on so that these two were a little tight they're just a little tight so if it doesn't fit exactly just do what I did Turn it till you find the sweet spot. And there we go. So we got them both on. Not too much of a challenge. They look nice, don't they? Yeah, I think so. So set this down i'll uh, move it over here and then comes the fun part so let's play reassemble the controller so your home button right yeah home button it's nice because microsoft made all these grooves so it'll slide and kind of lock into place so pretty easy now for the top two your start and back buttons it gets a little tricky one goes right side up and one goes right side down. So there's a fat end and a thin end, and that's how they do these specific groovings. And then you got your A button, right? A will go at the bottom, and it'll groove right in. X on the inside grooves right in. B on the outside, and then Y right up top. 
There we go. So we got most of the buttons back, all right? Yeah, feel good? Okay, good. Now, a lot of times the D-pad uh, will pop out. Mine didn't this time, so I mean, I mean we're kind of lucky right here. If there's any dirt or anything on the inside of your uh, D-pad, you might want to just brush it off with your thumb or fingers or get a cleaning cloth. And then it goes, see this flat side? The flat side goes up, and you want it to fit on the back of all of your buttons, right? Now, before you go putting it back together, you still have your shoulder buttons and sync button. And so we're going to set this down, right? It'll be fine where it's at. And we're going to want to get, yeah. My sync button stayed on. So we're going to want to get this. It just kind of pops right back on. You you want to fit it. Oh, 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 oh. Man overboard. All right. Pops back on. Right? It'll fit in the grooves. You want to click it. Make sure everything's nice and clicky. All my buttons are working. Great. Now, okay. The other hard part. So this is where you might not see me do it right. This will probably take a couple tries, but you want to get your uh, vibrations, your uh, dual shocks or rumbles, and there are grooves, right? Slots, one here and one on the opposite side. The rumble packs will fit into them. So you want to kind of turn this to its side, and then I'll show you if I can. You have to bear with me. So you want to kind of pop these out. They, they'll just fall out, but yeah, you want to pop these out. And you want to get them in their little grooves, right? Right? We got one. Now we got two. I got them both in, okay? And if you do it right, get your wires behind the circuit board so they fit in. Get your thumbsticks going through the holes. And then if we're lucky, it should all snap. I don't know if I've got it. Do I have it? No, I don't have it. All right. But you basically get the idea. So I'm going to get this together. <laughs> I showed, hopefully, a good enough idea of how to snap it back together. It will. You just got to, it'll take a few tries. You'll get it. Just don't rush it. Don't break anything. Sorry I paused for so long, but it's just not grooving right, but I will get it on and we'll go from there. All right. And we have liftoff. All right. So what we got here, two brand new thumbsticks. You can click them. Oh, yeah, they're clicking. So you want to test all your buttons, make sure everything works like it should. No, if it's if it's dead, if it's loose, it will just mush. There will be no firm kind of pop press to the buttons. If they're not spongy, they are not working, which means you have to disassemble, sadly, and then reassemble once again. But I have 
a brand new battery pack, which we went over, right? Ordered this online. So you'll get to see some putting together of that. And we have some Sunbeam alkaline batteries. You're going to want the high drain batteries. These, of course, are similar to Duracell, but you could get uh, copper top anything. You want the alkaline or lithium if you can, or even um, rechargeable double A's. Any of that's good stuff. Don't get the low drain. They will leak. So you're going to want to rub off the ends. Get your batteries going on. Oh. <laughs> gotta get any loose gunk out of there. You gotta release some wind into your pack. So, uh, do I have this the right way? Yes, I do. And then, oopsie. There we go. Okay, it's nice and springy. And get that on here. Boom. There you go. You got one assembled Xbox controller. Now, that said, what I managed to pick up for its nice cosmetic features, I don't know if anybody's been turned on to the silicone world of controller accessories. I've got a nice green rubber silicone shell to put on it yes yes my favorite color we like that we like that set that aside and i have these cool rainbow multicolored thumb grips so let's basically i'm putting those on yeah uh, you're thinking oh what's the point of new th putting new thumb sticks on if you're gonna put these on well i say to that you never know how much wear you're gonna get i mean look at this thumb stick it has been like chewed to pieces so we got two new thumbsticks and you know what let's just let's just pimp our controllers that's right we're gonna get some color in our world and i'm gonna take another break and i'm gonna put these on make sure you do a powered on test with your console do a hands-on and power on your controller test all your buttons may i recommend halo it uses all the buttons so go ahead, pop in a game that you know will test all your buttons. And then you know what? Accessorize, you know? Silicone up your controller. You're going to want to make this nice because it's a nice controller once again. It's new once again. Clean it. You might want to do some disinfectant, you know, uh, ethyl alcohol, whatever. You know, some Lysol, some rubbing alcohol. Be gently, avoid the circuit boards and your batteries. Do not get this wet. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to pop on our stuff, do an electronic test with the console and maybe Halo. And I'm going to come back and show you the final product. Thank you and check in a minute. Cool. Okay, YouTube, I hope you're ready for the final product on this excellent controller refurb take a look at what we have here now if i may say so this turned out pretty nice it's got everything working we got new thumbsticks under thumbsticks grips we got a brand new battery pack in here and we even got a nice silicone shell for the outside you can see some cool gray poking through you got a gray d-pad green light green <laughs> go thumbsticks and controller i mean it just looks great it feels great too and that's what counts but yeah we were able to remove this very easy this the tricky part but these thumbsticks have served well and they will be retired now off to the side once again, a reminder, you're going to need a T8 Torx for this. You can find them on Amazon, eBay, any place on the internet sells gaming parts mainly. It's kind of a, a multifaceted tip there. It's uh, like hexa hexagonal, I guess you could say. And it's just simple little dollar, two dollars. I got this in a pack. It was like three bucks for, uh, 
I think, a, a T8 and a T10. And, yeah, it's on. So you, you have the on light proof that it does work. Got the alkaline batteries in it, you know, pretty good batteries for hydrain. And, uh, yeah, got all our nice grips and grays and greens and colors and the buttons. It's great. It's just great. All right. Thanks, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this uh, Let's Refurb. If you liked it, uh, leave a comment. Go ahead and like. Subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications for the latest from Bearded Ryan. Signing off, YouTube. Y'all take it easy now. Peace.